winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer for the year with a score of 270, Nick Faldo. This was the completion of a journey which has taken 10 years to shoot 18 under par at, at, at Masters and Andrews. So Nick Faldo is back at St Andrews 25 years after he won the second of his three open titles at the old course. In 1990, the Englishman was in his prime, a dominant force in the global game. We spoke to Faldo recently about that crowning achievement. It's the Open and it's at the home of golf and it's the most iconic and the most traditional. But St Andrews is, has a kind of magic to it. Even if you're not a golfer, there's something about that town. Um, it's steeped in the history. That true old link starting in a, in a town, heading out along the coast and coming back to the town, nothing quite like it. Nips it off the road. My desire to win at St Andrews really came from my very first time there. Looks to be very good indeed, and it is. I went there in 78. We couldn't beat Jack in that era, but I finished full back and had some miraculous up and downs and that sort of thing. It was fun. Up and... Oh, very fortuitous indeed. I was very fortunate. I was befriended by Gerald Mecklen. He very kindly gave me handwritten notes and described to me the lines off the tee and where you position yourself at the bunkers, either short or long. His notes were absolutely invaluable. When I left there, I genuinely said to myself, all right, I can win an Open. That really became my mission in my, my career, to win the Open Championship at St Andrews. Faldo was so focused on victory at St Andrews that his famous mid-career swing changes came about directly because of his obsession with achieving success over the old course. That was when I embarked on the swing change, and, the, and it was purely the goal of the swing change was just to change the ball flight and to have that ability to get the right trajectory, the right penetration of shots, so I could go and play a Lynx golf course and, and obviously go and play, play St Andrews. To embark on a swing change like that was, was, was crazy. I hit five buckets of balls a day. Not these buckets, the big buckets, which has 300 balls in. So that's 1,500 balls a day. By three or four o'clock in the afternoon, I couldn't close my fingers. You know, they were just that sort. St Andrews, 1990, I was on a mission. He'd said to myself, OK, I'm going to win the Open by five shots. I had one man to beat that week, and it was Greg. And I walked up and shook his hand and looked at him, and I thought, hmm, I've got you, mate. Sunday was quite difficult. Five shot lead at, an, at the open, and I was a little confused, to be honest, of what, what to do and what, how aggressive or what, what's my strategy going to be. OK, a bit inaccurate by his standards, and an awkward putt left. Later in the round, as we came down 15, then I realised that Payne Stewart was getting close, two shots back on me, and I thought, right, now it's time to step it up. And fortunately, I could, and I did. He's done it. He's done it. And I had my five-shot lead coming up the last. And that was very cool, because you know what's going to happen with the gallery. And, uh, you know, I, I turned to Fanny, who's only been on the bag for six, seven months. And as we went up there, I said, well, we, we can actually look around and enjoy this. Let's take this one in. We may not, <laughs> I've never seen this before. I've never lifted my head, really. I can still remember the colour, the faces. The fans were right there, the spectators were right there on, on the front of the green. And I know when you can turn and see the famous clubhouse there and uh, family were there and everything. I mean, it was a uh, very special view. This was the completion of a journey which has taken 10 years. It's really cool to be able to look out, you know, at, at the golf course, especially looking at some, out of St Andrews. And, and I guess in milliseconds reminisce of, wow, that was the journey, that was the, that was the 72 holes that you've competed for four days and, and to shoot 18 under par at, at Master St Andrews. Mm -hmm.